what's up? Are you happy with your body? Is it strong enough? Is your butt big enough? Do your eyes see good? Mine don't see that great. And I don't really have a health plan, so I can't go get LASIK very easily. Mine's right though, I'm not really not really too worried about it. Some people don't really like their well, at least certain aspects of their bodies. You know this is big enough, that's too big. The weight's too high, the weight's too low. This part isn't shaped right. This gigantic wart isn't attractive. I'm Asian and I don't have enough facial hair. So there are, <laughs> there are a lot of things at play here. There's actually a lot going on in the in the realm as well, especially uh, we had this this uh, a flash or explosion thing in Russia. We had the fires, inexplicable, uh, very strange circumstance fires in California. Uh, yesterday we had uh, the inhabitants in Hawaii getting an emergency text saying prepare for an incoming ballistic missile <laughs> which they said which they sent out another uh, correction to 10 minutes later or however long later maybe they let the people sit and stew in that for a bit longer than 10 minutes I'm not sure but they sent out a message saying ah oh, somebody pressed <laughs> somebody pressed the button wrong button we didn't mean to, we didn't mean to send that one that was an accident sorry guys Um, there's a lot going on. It's, it's, a. <laughs> the unveiling it is in full swing. And, uh, people are always prepared for real stuff by it being introduced as, uh, you know, science fiction first. First you introduce it as science fiction. You introduce it as a possible plot adaptation, but as fake. And then at some point it somehow, you know, kind of wiggles its way around into becoming real and since it's already in your imagination as a possible story your brain can accept it it has to be there in some fashion first whether seen as the brain as fiction or nonfiction is irrelevant it has to be put there somehow and then since your, your brain really doesn't distinguish uh, between real and fake. It does, but uh, these are interchangeable. So if there's a concept that's put forth as uh, imaginary, like maybe the Star Wars, um, the Star Wars world, where you know you have space wars going on. Your brain accepts that that is a possibility in some story, somewhere, in some universe, whether it be imaginary or not. And then if it were to suddenly, say say you were to wake up one day and you find yourself in that world, rather than this world, and you had seen all those movies, 
okay? You might say, well, I thought that was just a movie. But at the same time, your mind wouldn't uh, reject out of hand because it had seen a workable storyline in which Star Wars is a reality. So that's essentially what's happening here. Um, so uh, at CES, Consumer Electronics Show, this massive... Uh, Las Vegas show where all kinds of companies come to show off their new creations or concepts. Uh, huh. Netflix had a spoof booth. Okay, that's the official story is that it's a spoof booth. Or it's a, you know, it's a... It's just there for the show. Like, it has nothing to do with reality. But they have, they had... Um, clone bodies. Uh, silicon clone bodies. And they were selling the booth as if uh, whichever uh, Joe and Jane Smith that has, you know, they didn't even really mention money that much. But they were trying to market this, I this idea to everyone who was walking by. Uh, if you are unsatisfied with your current body, which they called sleeves. You see, every every time, every time that you introduce a new mental concept, uh, especially if you call, if you bring in a, a a new word, which the mind just understands the concept really easily. This is the first time I'd seen uh, this concept try to present itself into our reality. Albeit as, you know, as uh, a joke for this Netflix uh, series that's coming out. Not a joke, uh, a, 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 um, a marketing trick, a marketing gig. Not gig. Ploy. It's a marketing ploy is the official story. But it's the first time that I have ever heard that concept uh, sleeve, right, for obtaining a new home for your consciousness if you are unsatisfied with your old sleeve, right? Okay, so, aside from that, this, uh, and also, pardon my yawning and my blurry eyes, I haven't upgraded my sleeve yet and I'm still, uh, I still need sleep and all this stuff. So, So they have real. They had real live uh, sleeves there at the at the booth. Uh, they had this 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 male sleeve naked. You know they're not showing explicit shots of the thing. I don't think. And, and it was inside of this plastic sack with all kinds of moisture on the inside. You know, so it's kind of the body itself was kind of blocked from view. Um, but. <laughs> This all looked very, very real. It looked as real as it possibly could. Uh, if, if you were to take like a movie and then say, take, make this movie into a real life set scene, uh, and completely fool the people who are coming through, and see if you, see how many people you can get to believe that a consciousness transfer into a sleeve or a clone body is possible. Uh, I would say that's the the more of the main uh, goal of this this booth, rather than to. Um, scare people about, you know, a, a movie, or, or a, a TV series. Um, so, so they have these bodies, and then they have attendants, they have, uh, the Psychosec is the company, and they, they of course don't say, you know, we're just here. There is a Netflix, uh, banner there, but it's not prominent, it's, the, the booth is not billed, it's not overtly billed as Netflix, and this is, we're, we're, promoting the show. It's not billed as that. So the 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 booth people, the ones that run it who, you know, work for Psychosec, they're just plainly and 
they're well spoken. Uh, they they are intelligent about what they're saying. They have on their iPads, they have all these different uh, sleeves that you can purchase. Um, they're very matter of fact in how they deliver the concept. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to a video where this guy is going up. You know, he's he's on the side of um, disbelief yet still trying to figure out what the fuck the thing is actually about so he's he's coming with a of course a very healthy skepticism um but it's uh veiled because the human likes to play along with whatever thing is being sold so we're aware of spoofs we're aware of fakes we're aware of being sold lies of course you know that's been going on forever anyway so when you see something like this that it's billing itself as something and you say you you smell a hoax perhaps well you're gonna go up there and you're gonna uh you, you know you're gonna be skeptical and you're gonna ask kind of questions that you you figure they can't answer and so on and so forth so that's what he was doing you know he was asking them what exactly psychosec is and what what are they really you know <laughs> are you really saying you know i, I can i can grab a body here and uh um, and so, psych you know, the, the booth attendees, when he's, the guy asks them, well, what, how, you know, how would I get in one of these bodies? And, and she'd say, you know, well, through the cortical stack, uh, which is this chip implant that your consciousness is literally transferred into, uh, so you are in this, and this also correlates with the very last episode of Black Mirror, season four the last episode the same exact thing has happened and which is also on netflix uh that whole that whole series is on netflix as well um so the idea that the cortical stack which is a piece of technology that can house your active consciousness all of your memories all of that okay and that cortical stack gets placed inside of whichever sleeve uh, you have a fancy for, and you were there in that new sleeve. Um, what else? Uh, this, the show is called Altered Carbon, and it's coming out in February uh, 2018, if I remember correctly. So it's coming out in about a month. Uh, of course I consider this, you know, soft disclosure. This isn't even soft disclosure. This is like blatant disclosure. It, it, it's as close as you can c come to it being admitted. We have clones, you know, we have consciousness transfer. We have had it for a while and, you know, we're telling you guys in this fashion. So, so, you know, people don't freak out immediately. That's that's my interpretation of it. Um, is there anything else? I'm trying to remember if there's anything else with that. Yeah, that's about it. That's really about that's all about all I got from it. Um, I'm gonna leave two links for you. Uh, one, the link of this video where this guy, none of the major YouTube channels have covered this yet, as far as I can tell. When I, when I search Psychosec, the top one has like 2,000 views or something, so even the mainstream one, uh, you know, truther channels don't know about this yet, as far as I know. Maybe they do. I don't know. This was fairly recent. This was the, you know, the first week of January, so this is all very fresh. Um, so anyway... I'm going to leave a link to the video of this guy talking to these Psychosec representatives. It's about nine minutes and he's very skeptical and it's kind of a funny video. Um, and it shows, you know, the body, it shows the clone bodies, it shows them talking about the cortical stack and the consciousness transfer, it's, it shows them, you know, scrolling through different sleeves that you can wear um, on the iPad and it just, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. This is, you know, there are, <laughs> things are happening in the realm, and this is definitely uh, something, so, weigh in. All right, guys, take care.